good morning and uh, uh, in these particular lectures uh, we are going to review the basic uh, structure of the tensor product Hilbert space and uh, build up to entanglement and then we are going to see the applications of entanglement uh, to quantum limited metrology. Okay, starting with it, uh, let's say this is basically a uh, review. So, suppose I have a ball that can be colored uh, red or blue. Now the state of the ball or the quantum state of the ball uh, can be given by a vector which is a superposition of uh, the blue state and the red state. So this would be the quantum mechanical description of the ball where, uh, you know, you can take color, for example, color is a quantum degree of freedom. Now, what happens when I have two balls the possible states for two balls are both balls can be red red blue the first one can be red and the second one can be blue or I can have the first one to be blue, second one to be red and I can have both the balls to be blue. And in general, uh, the quantum state for two balls, I'll represent it as a superposition of all these states just your uh, fundamental principle of counting so this is to motivate uh, uh, the tensor product structure uh, a tensor product is used to express composite quantum systems two balls or a, a charged particle and a, another charged particle or even two degrees of freedom of the same particle like the electron degree of freedom and the sorry the spin degree of freedom and let's say uh, the positional degree of freedom so in general if I have two vector 
spaces v and w and i can have the orthonormal basis this is the orthonormal basis for uh, v and uh, i'll have the orthonormal basis for w basically the basis vectors uh the tensor product space is another vector space which is spanned by the following basis so basically in general i'll have uh, uh these pairs which are serve as the basis for this vector space uh v tensor w vector space and uh, by construction these are going to be the basis vectors uh, for the tensor product vector space so uh, in other words i call v the symbol this is the symbol for tensor product this is the tensor product vector space <coughs> 